Right guys, Tottenham have just beaten Arsenal 3 0 in the North London Derby and they are now only the one point behind them in the race for the top four. Both teams have two games remaining. And yes, I mean it definitely makes it interesting. Um the the Tottenham Tottenham got a penalty early on, Harry Kane uh, scored it. Um, sent the keeper the wrong way and it, it was a bit silly from Cedric uh, nudging uh, Hyungman Son in the back um, no intention to play the ball and to be fair to Paul Tierney it is, a, it is a foul that you don't often see referees give and he did give it so I, I think he deserves um, a bit of credit for that Um but then, yeah, after that, it just felt like the game was completely out of Arsenal's control, really. Um, Rob Holding got sent off. Uh, the, the first yellow card he got, I thought, was probably justified. He, he kept nibbling at Son without really getting the ball. So, yeah, you can understand it. And the second one, it, it was just a bit stupid, really. I, I think it might be a little bit harsh but um, it's still silly whichever way you look at it from holding uh, he's, he, he has just gone straight into Son with, with like he, he hasn't lifted his elbow up or anything but he, he didn't need to do it it was contact that could have easily been avoided Son was never getting to the ball anyway it was overhit so yeah it was just a stupid decision from Rob holding and uh, yeah Tottenham eventually got a second from a corner, whipped in, Bentoncourt heads it to the back post, Kane gets a tap in with his head, um, and yeah, he always seems to score against Arsenal for Tottenham in, in the North London derby, I can think of many occasions now, I think he scored a double against Arsenal in his breakthrough season at Tottenham, um, he, he scored a brilliant goal in 2016 where he whipped it in, into the far corner from the left-hand side. Uh, he scored a penalty in 2017 in a game that made sure that Tottenham finished above Arsenal in the league that season. Um, yeah, he's, in, in short, he's, he scored a lot of goals against Arsenal. I think he's well into double figures now. And... Uh, yeah, um, it, it was a well-taken head. It, it wasn't the easiest finish ever. Like, if someone like Raheem Sterling came onto that at the back post, you wouldn't expect, to, you, you wouldn't be surprised if Sterling was to miss that. Um, it is the sort of thing he would miss. I, I, I like Sterling as a player, but, you know, it's just one of them, isn't it? Um, yeah, and, and to that that was it for half time, and you, you just knew from that point on that there was no coming back for Arsenal. And Young Min Son made absolutely sure of that in in the first minutes of the second half, um, when the ball broke to him on the edge of the box. El Nenny, who I think's played really well over the past few weeks for Arsenal in games against Chelsea and West Ham. Half-hearted attempt at winning the ball. I thought Son. It was far too easy for him to get to the ball, um, and manages to got to get it through the bodies and past Aaron Ramsdale, and that made it free. And yeah, it was definitely game over at that point. Um, and yeah, I mean, even then, there's it still like the problems for Arsenal in that they had. A, couple of injuries. Rob Holding's not going to play the next game as well. Um so and Gabriel went off. So like they they have got problems now, Arsenal. And that their final two games are Newcastle away and Everton at home. And obviously if they win both of them they get top four. But I don't think it's straightforward. Everton you would think would be safe by then. But it's no guarantee. You know, if, if, if Leeds and Burnley win, which I mean is unlikely as well, Burnley have got Tottenham and Leeds. Leeds have got themselves, to be honest. They're their own biggest enemy at the minute. Um, so, um, yeah, Everton probably will be safe by that point. 
but it, it's, it's still not the two easiest games you can think of, whereas Tottenham have got Norwich on the final day and Burnley at the weekend. Burnley at the weekend, that'll be a tough fixture. I'd still expect Tottenham to win it, whereas Norwich on the final day, I think, you know, that, that should be really straightforward for Tottenham. If you don't win that game, you don't deserve top four, basically. Um, yeah, so if if I was given a prediction on, on who I think will get top four, because I, I think Arsenal have a very good record at home against Everton. Not so good at Goodison, but that doesn't matter, it's at the Emirates. Newcastle away is not going to be an easy fixture regardless of Newcastle having nothing to play for. I do think Tottenham will win both of their games, is the thing. And even if Arsenal draw one of theirs in, in that circumstance, then Tottenham get top four. I'm going to make a prediction that Tottenham get top four. I just think Arsenal will get drop two points in one of their final two games, and I, d I definitely didn't think that a few weeks ago, um, when well not even a few weeks ago, a week ago when Ch uh, Arsenal beat Chelsea, West Ham, Man United in three games in a row, and Tottenham had just lost to Brighton, so I definitely didn't think it at that point. Um, but yeah, it's, I did, just can't think of, um, like a stranger run of form for Arsenal, that like than what they've had over the past six to eight weeks. Of they, they had that period where they lost to Brighton, Southampton, and there was someone else, it was the other team. Brighton, Southampton, and can't think of who it was now. Just looking through the league table. Could have been Brentford. Crystal Palace, that was it. Crystal Palace 3 0 at Selhurst Park. And then to beat United, West Ham, and uh, Chelsea. Strange run of form, but I think the three losses to uh, those two, the three teams who were in the lower half of the table, I think it will cost them, and I think Tottenham will get top four. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.